Oxford Read and Discover Level Four. Why we recycle. Introduction. We all make a lot of waste. There's waste from our homes, factories, offices, and schools. We recycle a lot of our waste materials, but we should recycle more. Do you know why? What do you throw away? What is your waste made of? What waste materials do you recycle? Discover. Now read and discover more about why we recycle waste. Chapter one: Too much waste. In some countries, one person can make about five kilograms of waste every day. Where does all this waste go? Most waste goes to a landfill. At a landfill, people put the waste under the ground. Landfills are very big because we make so much waste. Most waste materials decompose; they break down into very small pieces. Food waste decomposes fast, but some waste materials decompose slowly. Paper materials. Take from two to five months to decompose. Some metal materials take from eighty to one hundred years, and plastic materials take maybe up to one thousand years. Some materials, like glass, never decompose. We are making more and more waste. We need more landfills. But there's no more land on Earth for landfills. Our waste stays in landfills for too long, and this is bad for Earth. So we should make less waste. We should recycle more things. Discover. Around the world, people make up to four billion metric tons of waste every year. Chapter Two: Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. We should put less waste in landfills. We can help to do this when we reduce, reuse, and recycle our waste. When we reduce our waste, we make less waste. We can help to do this when we only buy things that we really need. We can also borrow things, or fix things when they break. When we don't buy so many things, we reduce waste. When we reuse something, we use it again. When we buy a bottle of water, we can put more water in the bottle when we finish it. We don't need to buy a new bottle. Discover. We should reuse our plastic bags. Around the world, people use about one million plastic bags every day. We usually use one bag for only about twelve minutes. When we recycle something, we use it to make something new. We can recycle most glass, paper, and metal. We can recycle some plastic. We can recycle things to make more of the same thing. For example, we can recycle paper to make new paper. We can also make something different, like this radio, that's made of recycled metal. Chapter three: What can we recycle? We can recycle most things: clothes, shoes, phones, computers, televisions, cars, cans, paper, bottles, 
and batteries. There are a few things that we can't recycle, but not many. We can recycle most paper and card to make new paper. We can recycle metal from many different things, like cans, cars, and computers. It's hard to get new metal, so it's good to recycle old metal. We can recycle most types of glass. It's good to sort the glass into different colors, green, brown, and clear glass. Factories can only make new clear glass when 99% of the recycled glass is clear. There's a recycling symbol on a lot of the things that we can recycle. There's sometimes a symbol on the things that we can't recycle. We have to recycle different types of plastic in different ways. The recycling symbols on plastic help people to sort the different types of plastic. Chapter 4 Paper Paper is made from trees. So when we recycle used paper to make new paper, we save trees. Our used paper goes to a paper recycling factory. Here, machines cut the paper and put the pieces in water. This makes the paper into fibers. Then, machines wash the fibers to take out things like staples and glue. Next, machines put in soap and they blow air through the water and fibers. This makes bubbles. Ink stays on the bubbles, and machines take out the inky bubbles to make the fibers clean. Then, machines use the fibers to make new paper. Every time we recycle paper, the fibers get smaller and weaker and then they are not so good for making new paper. This means that we can only recycle paper from four to six times. So we will always need some new trees to make paper. Discover! In seven days, we can get a new newspaper from a recycled newspaper. Chapter 5 Plastic. Plastic is newer than a lot of other materials. No one really knows how long it takes to decompose, maybe up to 1,000 years. Around the world, people make more than 200 million metric tons of plastic every year. All of this plastic is probably still on Earth. We don't recycle much plastic because it's hard to sort the different types of plastic, and there aren't many factories that recycle plastic. We can recycle plastic from bottles and from parts of refrigerators and cars. People sort the different types of plastic, and then they take them to a plastic recycling factory. Different factories recycle different types of plastic. At the factory, machines clean the plastic and cut it into small pieces. Other machines melt the plastic and clean it again. Then, machines cut this clean plastic into small pellets. Other factories use these pellets to make new plastic things. We can use recycled plastic to make phones, clothes, chairs, toys, and much more. Discover! About 25 big plastic bottles can make one fleece jacket. Chapter 6. Glass. Glass is one of the best materials for recycling because we can recycle it again and again. We use most recycled glass to make new glass things, like glass bottles. Sometimes we can see it in buildings because we can use recycled glass to make walls 
and windows. Glass is made from sand. To make glass, people make sand very, very hot so that it melts. Recycled glass doesn't have to get so hot to melt. So it's good to make new glass from recycled glass because we save energy. At a glass recycling factory, people sort the glass into different colors. Then, machines break the glass into small pieces. Other machines clean the glass. Magnets take out any metal, and air blows off any plastic and paper. Then, the glass is made into much smaller pieces. Other factories melt the very small pieces of glass to make new glass things. Chapter 7 Metal There are lots of different metals, and they all come from rocks. To get most metals out of rocks, people have to use machines to make the rocks very, very hot. The machines use a lot of energy. It's good to recycle metals because we save this energy. Metal is a good material to recycle because we can recycle it again and again. We can recycle all metals, but we recycle different metals in different ways. Let's look at aluminum. Aluminum is the metal in most drinks cans. It's also in planes, cars, bicycles, computers, buildings, and things that we cook with. At the recycling factory, machines cut the waste aluminum into small pieces. Then, very hot air blows off all the words and pictures on the metal. Next, machines melt the metal and make bars. Other factories melt these bars to make new metal things. Discover! Aluminum bars are very, very big. One bar can make more than one million drinks cans. Chapter 8 Food Waste What do you do with the food that you don't eat? In some countries, people throw away billions of metric tons of food waste every year. Some of it is food that we can't eat, like banana skins and eggshells, but some of it is good food. Most of it goes to landfills. In landfills, there's no air under the ground, so food decomposes very slowly. We can make compost with some of our food waste. We can do this at home. The compost helps plants to grow in the garden. Discover! In a compost bin, worms eat the waste and make it into compost. In many places, people collect food waste from homes, stores, and restaurants. Machines called biodigesters use the food waste to make compost for farms. When the food decomposes, it makes a gas. People can use this gas to cook with or to make electricity. We can reduce waste and save money when we only buy food that we need. We should think carefully about what food we need to buy so that we don't waste it. Chapter 9 Problems for Earth Pollution makes land, air, and water dirty. Factories make pollution, and landfills make pollution too. Polluted air and water can make people and animals sick. People throw some waste onto the ground or into rivers. This waste makes more pollution 
and more problems. Polluted rivers can kill the plants and animals that live there. All around the world, people make lots of new things every day. We need materials like paper and plastic to make these things. Paper is made from trees. Plastic is usually made from oil. Many factories use oil for the energy that they need to make machines work, or to make things very hot. Earth gives us trees and oil. We need to use them carefully so that we can have them in the future. We are making too many new things and using too many materials. We are also making too much waste. We can't live like this forever. We are making too many problems for Earth. Chapter 10 What Can You Do? You can do a lot of things. Every little thing helps. You can reduce your waste. Don't buy too many new things. Do you really need a new computer game? Can you borrow one from a friend? Fix things when they break. You can reuse and recycle your waste. Make things from waste. Look at your waste and see what you can do with it. On the Internet, you can find lots of great ideas. For example, how to make games, clothes, and bags. Recycling can be easy. At home, you can use recycling boxes. Or maybe you can use different waste baskets for different types of waste. At school, you can recycle lots of things, too. When you are outside, you can pick up waste for recycling. But be careful. Don't pick up dangerous waste. Remember, we should all reduce, reuse, and recycle our waste.